This week I bring you a book about confronting God and doubt and Catholicism in contemporary America. This is Sinner's Welcome by Mary Carr. I picked this book up because I am really interested in conversion stories, and this one does not disappoint. It's a collection of poetry, did I mention that? This is a collection of poetry that's rife with awe, and not just at God, but at ordinary people and the world. I especially like the poems in which Carr bestows a sense of power on her speakers. Lots of religious poetry involves being powerless before God, but here it's more about having power and perhaps giving it up. Each person is a force to be reckoned with or reasoned with. Even serial killers have needs, as we learn in hypertrophied football star as a serial killer. Here's a quote from the first section. Sometimes the coach whacked his ear hole, or many linemen bulldozed his form like a training sled, face mask turning up sod for yards. When his brain bounced hard enough, the light snapped out and he was sidelined. Still, if the whistle reached his sleeping ears, he'd bolt from stretcher to greenfield helmetless. Put me in, he'd say. That's hard, said the coach, for whom a hit meant love. I also love Carr's revelations about childhood. One poem, called Revelations in the Key of K, involves memories of kindergarten. I came awake in kindergarten, she writes. Under the letter K, chalk neat on a field green placard, leaned on the blackboard's top edge. Okay, so after those quotes, I'm going to zoom out a little bit and consider this entire book. This book has no sections. That's kind of unusual for contemporary poetry. And even though all the poems do fit together in this book, it made it a little hard to follow the arc of the entire collection. Is it a certain feeling or a certain theme? Is it about confronting difficult stories and memories in our own lives and the lives of others? Or is it about confronting God? Or both? Or maybe does it change over time? Maybe the idea is to flow through these concepts and see where they lead. Any which way, I found myself wanting a little bit of guidance. I also noticed this collection contains a lot of dedications. Some collections list dedications at the end of the entire book instead of at the end or the beginning of each poem. Here they're listed right on the page with the poem. And I can't help wondering about that choice and what to take away from it. Perhaps there's a sense that these feelings and narratives continue off the page. That perhaps Carr has put her life into this book in a way some poets choose not to, or at least choose not to disclose. In that sense, this book felt very intimate, for better or for worse. I mean, that's a hard thing to comment on. Sometimes it can feel too close for comfort, but then the idea isn't always to remain comfortable, is it? Sometimes we have our best revelations in difficult situations. And I think that's the overall lesson here that we always have something left to learn, and that sometimes things get very tough before we figure out how to walk towards the light, or something like that. This is Sinner's Welcome, and you're watching Brave Little Books.